Hello friends and welcome to this tutorial of slidescope.com This video is a part of our step by step C++ programming language In this video we are going to study about compilers What are compilers in computer programming You must have heard this term while studying C++ and you must be aware of it but we are going to discuss it if you are unaware of it of or if you want to make it more clear first of all before understanding compilers we have to understand some programming language classifications first classification is a machine language so machine language are the only language that are understood by computers computers can understand some logic only and this logical representation or programming is termed as machine language they are almost impossible for humans to understand because they mostly consist of numbers second type of classification in programming language is assembly language assembly languages have the same structures and set of commands as machine language but they enable a programmer to use names instead of numbers and then there are high level languages a programming language such as c fortran pascal that enables a pro programmer to write programs that are more or less independent of a particular type of computer it simply means that you can write a program line by line and you can write in such a language that can be understood by humans easily so a compiler is a set of program is a special program that processes a statement written in a particular programming language and turns them into machine language or code that a computer processor uses so a programmer writes a uh, writes his program in some high level language that can be understood by humans but there is a program that converts this human and understandable language into a computer or a machine understandable code this program is called compiler so typically a programmer writes language statements in a language such as pascal or c one line at a time as you do and a compiler when a compiler is called when a program is compiled a compiler converts that high level language or human understandable language into a machine level language let's have a look at this language this image and this will make it clear so here is a program that is written in human understandable form this program is taking three integers a b and sum we are taking inputs and a variable b variable are inputs and the output is sum that is a plus b if this program is converted into a machine level language it would look like this it, it will look something like this so it is very hard for a human to understand such kind of code and tell what's happening there but if a non programmer sees such program it is easy for him to tell that what this program is doing 
so this is done with the help of compilers a compiler pr produces an object file which is dot o extension so as you can imagine programming a computer directly in machine language using only ones and zeros is very tedious and error prone to make programming easier high level languages have been developed and high level programmer programs also make it easier for programmers to inspect and understand each other, others program easier is if a programmer uses this program then it will be very easy for some other programmer to understand what is he trying to write so this is written one line at a time and that's why this semicolon represents end of one line so next thing is what are linkers in c++ there are compilers but what are linkers in c++ or any program so as we studied earlier as we studied in the first part of this video that compilers convert programming code into machine understandable form so now the machine understands our program and compilers produce object files but a project we, we, when we will create a project using c++ language a project can a project is an executable file it is like a setup which we can run and install in our computers a project contains many .cpp files a c++ program is saved as a cpp extension we will see that in later parts of our video so you can think of it as a collection of many cpp files is is a project and a project has a entry point and it starts from executing from that entry point and then executes line by line and every cpp file is executed so linkers are used to link all those files and create an executable file and linkers also provide necessary references between two cpp file suppose you have declared a function in one cpp file and the definition of that function or that is is given in some other cpp file so for providing necessary references between two cpp files a linker is needed so that gives us a definition of a tool set the combination of compiler linker and archivers is known as a tool set so guys that's all in this video and we will come with some examples to make you understand these concepts a bit more clear if you have any doubt you can share with us and if you have any suggestion you can share with us keep watching our videos and if you want timely updates you can subscribe to our channel as well thanks for watching this video and do visit our website slidescope.com for latest updates regarding all programming languages and tutorials have a nice time